Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Oh boy. Humidity is getting to the camera here already. There we go. Well, we've got uh, we got some work done on the fenders. Big thanks to Domino for all his help in uh, doing the body work and allowing me to learn from him again and do some grunt work. Oh, excuse me, do some grunt work and big thanks to him for for laying down some some paint. So I got them here. They're all laid out and ready to go. I wanted to show you guys kind of the, the difference in size between the, the 41 SC fenders and the mid model SC fenders. And uh, there's actually a, a third late model fender that has exposed ribs on the inside of the fender or the operator side. But without further ado, here are the fenders laid next to each other. So the video probably doesn't do it justice, but you can tell this is the early 41 SC fender and this is the late or the mid model fender that goes on like a 42 to probably a oh, 49 or 50. I think they changed to the late model fenders when they came out with the Eagle Hitch, but the... Uh, the fender wraps over the tire much more than than the uh, I don't want to drop these as you can see here the early fender has a lot more wrap than the mid model fender so another telltale way to uh, look at it is the inside of the fender or the bottom side has two ribs on the mid model fender and on the late model fender they have three so what I'm gonna do is uh, oh I've also got the headlight brackets that mount on top of the fenders here I've got those ready to go so what I'm gonna do is pull the SC around and because uh, it's still sitting over in the row over there I've left it outside for the last week or so not a big deal. It's it's not going to hurt it to sit outside for a short period of time. But I'm going to pull that around and we'll get these things bolted on and see how they look. I'm pretty excited to see it, so stay tuned.
let's uh, get my bolts ready and we'll get to work. Well, there we go, all bolted up. Man, that looks good. Nice big wide fenders. I'm excited. Good. All right, guys, well, we got the case put away for a day anyhow. Tomorrow we'll have to take it out to uh, give it a bath. And then Saturday I have to load it on the trailer. Actually, it'll be tomorrow night I'll load it up. But Saturday we have a uh, an event for the Now Then Historical Power Association. I'm going to be putting the tractor on display uh, with a few other tractors just at a at a small event in a local town here so maybe I'll get some video of that if I can but I wanted to touch on a couple things first of all I think the Super M is sold a friend of mine is going to give me a few payments on it but I think I think it's sold to him so that's good um, gotta give a big shout out to Mike Adler he uh, he gave me a link to a Oliver 70 that's really close to me that's in pretty good shape and um, once the Super M's gone hopefully that Oliver will be there still I've been talking to the gentleman that owns it and uh, maybe we'll go uh, see what happens with that but uh, you guys know that I've been talking about a, an Oliver for a little while so trying to get some more colors in the uh, in the herd but um, third, the M still, as you can see, still has the loader off of it, but I'm going to end up putting the loader back on it temporarily, if not until next spring, and then next spring if I can't get it done this fall. So this is a, a future video, but I'm going to be doing a rebuild video on the uh, belly pump system because I need to put new seals in that and I'll probably put a transmission input shaft seal in the tractor when I do the, the belly pump seals so that'll be a big uh, big repair video there's not really anything out there for videos on how to do that stuff so I'm looking forward to getting that done but I'm not sure when that's gonna happen so but I gotta get this loader put back on the M before our open house here uh, in August so that's about all I've got for this video and uh, I know it was kind of a short one especially since I sped up the the uh, installation of the fenders but 
not much to uh, not much to see other than bolting them on. So, just wanted to give you guys a um, a view of the new fenders and uh, kind of a sneak peek at what's coming up. So, take care. Thanks for watching. Thanks for wrenching with me, and uh, we'll see you later.